other boys do. What is going on, guys? It is S and Santa here, coming at you with a brand new video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys, or uh, giving you tips and tricks on how to use the Impus, which is the Tier 5 sniper rifle in the sniper class. To start off, um, as you guys know, this has the slowest fire rate, and it does take a bit of skill to use because most of the time, um, you're going to find that your shots, even if they connect, they're not going to do damage or they're going to not going to get kills. So the first step into fixing that is putting a silencer on. It's not going to work all the time, but because of the inaccuracy of this weapon, it often gets like fake hits. I don't know how to explain it, but it explodes in the body, but doesn't register the damage, so it doesn't kill them. And uh, also, if there's killing trades where they kill you first, but you actually shot them, because the bullets in the Impus have a short travel time, like almost unnoticeable, they're going to get that kill, and it's going to give them the advantage in getting a kill over you before you kill them. So you definitely want to be quick. And even though it's unnaturally really slow fire rate, that's going to screw you over. So you definitely need some skill to use this. I definitely would recommend not to use it as a noob tube. It wasn't meant to be like that. I'm not really sure why there's explosive rounds. I guess it's just for a different variety of a sniper rifle. It's definitely a lot of fun to use. Like, don't get me wrong, this gun is, like, a lot of fun to use. Like, if you go into some games and you kind of sit back and play casual, it's going to be good. But competitively up close, it's going to be a lot harder. You're going to have to get your shots on, and you will get screwed over with some hits for um, some reason. But anyway, guys, you see I did hit a trick shot in this. Um, this is actually a 1v1 with my friend Unity. He's actually in the Bolt Squad. Um, as you guys know, this is a squad full of skillful snipers in Monarch 5, and I did have a tryout, but... I uh, kind of just upsided from there and just decided to invite people that I know are really consistent with sniping and almost only snipe and just have a really, like, a burning passion. And he's actually, like, really new to the game, and it's really crazy to see how much he's progressed even just, like, joining in. Like, uh, he said, uh, like, me and my brother were the first people he met, and we, we made this bolt squad not too long ago, so it's pretty neat that he actually is, like, progressing off of us and he's doing really, really good. Like, he's almost competition, but um, as you can see, guys, um, it does do pretty decently, but a lot of times, um, another thing that happens is even if your scope's going to get on there, if you're doing drag scopes and moving at the same time, because of the travel time of the bullet, even if your scope is on the person, the bullet will kind of like go off to the side or it will go like into a different direction, like straight ahead that it would have gone before. Like it's kind of weird, I don't know. So that is also a reason why you might not hit kills that are like, like right on point. You're going to notice that a couple times in this gameplay you've probably seen. But um, overall, it is a pretty nice sniper rifle. I do recommend it, but I think the best one to use is the RS, just because it has um, like a medium fire rate. In, it's in between the Impus and the uh, BSW. I think the BSW is better for beginner snipers because you have the faster fire rate, and um, it's a little bit easier to get kills. It's way more accurate and um, a lot easier, I think. So if you definitely want to like get into competitive and like pro sniping, go and go with the RS, and then also try it out using um, the Impus. And uh, it just gives you a whole view. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it helps you use this gun a little bit better. But Alrighty, and before I go, I just want to give out two shout-outs to my subscribers in the last video. First one's going to go to It's Fly. He asked, can you play with the Care 15? Um, as you guys know, this weapon is actually the automatic Care 200. Um, in the Sapper class, I believe it's the Tier 5. So that would be a lot of fun to make a video out of. And I think I'm definitely going to do that for you, man. Thank you for letting me know. That, that's a really good suggestion, actually. I don't even think I have a gameplay of it yet, so thank you very much. And uh, the second one's going to go to Ibrahim Raja. He says, you're awesome with a smile at face. And I just want to give this one, like, a huge appreciation from myself because a lot of you guys actually comment stuff like this. It makes me feel happy, and uh, it makes me feel, like, motivated to upload, and I definitely feel like there's a purpose in uploading these videos in Rockman 5. Like, you guys actually like it. It's like back in the day when I watched SXE Joker and B-Nates and stuff, and I felt the same way. Like, I'm glad that I can actually make videos people want to watch. So, thank you for leaving that down below, making me feel noticed, and, like, it's just awesome. But anyway, guys, if you did, um, leave a comment and uh, ask any question you want me to answer. I like answering questions for the subscribe shouts, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.